<laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Night in the Woods. My name is Weasel, and, uh, yeah, we had a, a very interesting encounter. Uh, I don't know if it was an encounter, but we followed a man abducting, seemingly abducting, um, no, I don't want to say it, quit. Uh, abducting someone. I don't know if it was a kid or a grown-up, and, um, our cop aunt, mall aunt, cop, whatever her name is, did not believe us. Kinda, kinda shitty. I, you know, would believe someone, especially if there was a murder recently or if we found body parts, but I guess she didn't, you know, care too much about that. Come say hello, why don't ya? Alright, I'm gonna say hello to mom. Hi, mom. Are we, are we, are we, are we still fighting? Because I, I've been pretty bratty. Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. So, uh... Hey, hon. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. Well, glad this is resolved. I said some stuff, I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want to repeat a few years ago. Oh, what happened a few years ago? I'm really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine, guess I'm stressed too. Saw some weird stuff last night, or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later, I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Well, I guess we're not talking about school. What am I gonna do with my life? What you gonna do? Alright, um, yeah, it, it is definitely drizzly. I seem to be in a good mood jumping around all over the place. Okay. Oh, hey. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird, went to the Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real, then had a really bad nightmare. Cool, I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Oh, fuck yeah! Yeah! Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. Uh, what is considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station and blowing it up. In November. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I'll, I'll, I'll believe you. I'll roll with it. Okay. Seasons change a little bit. There is no more Halloween stuff. They're quick to remove everything. Here it takes a few days. Oh, well. So, where to go next? I kind of want to go to the police station. That seems appropriate. But I guess I'll go to Bea. Because that's that's my that's usually my go-to. I mean, I have nothing else to do in this town. It's not like I'm looking for a job or anything. Hey, Bea. Hey, Bea. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still, like, putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day? Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at a snack falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. Feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Deep. Hashtag deep. Oh, <laughs> just straight up jumped on that pigeon, just smashed its spine. Poor creature! I'm the worst, I just smashed a pigeon. Why would I do that? Uh, I don't think I need to talk to Angus. Whoa, it's already boarded up. Someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss your pizza place. Well, maybe something cool is moving in. Maybe something better is moving in. Who knows? Well, let's, let's, let's hunt down Greg in the Snack Falcon. Oops, and I walked out again. Good, good, good times, Weasel. You should, you should maybe wait until it loads before you hit the moving button. <sighs> hey, Greg, how's it going? Sup, dude? Uh, uh, long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool, what you up to? Just saying hello. Hello. Well, that was great. What you up to? Um, we're gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, I gotta do the song again. Really suck at it. Man. 
I'm I'm horrible at this this band practice thing. I will I will blow it. I'll blow it. All right. Uh, who do I talk to to do this? I guess Greg. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Uh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out to the roof. Now I can like I don't know, run from that door down into the lobby up to the roof. And pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, what's to stop random people from doing that now? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Okay, gotta gotta do this again. Pumpkin hand guy, that's what it's called. Oh, man, this is fast. Okay. I don't know why she's banging her head. She's just using a laptop. Oh. It's awful. I'm 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 so awful at this. <laughs> One of these days I'll I'll get it right. Ugh. Man. A bass wouldn't like interrupt the band that badly, I mean. But whatever. What's behind the mask? Life comes and goes away too fast for me to even ask. He's the pumpkin head guy. The window, I see him. <laughs> oh god, burn the city down. Oh god, what? Jesus Christ, what is happening? I'm ruining this is the song. Oh god. I guess that I mean that's that's probably the idea because I said like I don't even know how to know to play the bass, I don't know the song and whatnot. <sighs> wow man, that was uh Pretty bad what it was. Yep, I literally do not know the song. Welp. Phew. So fast. I just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Oh, he's singing? Awesome! I'm gonna sound so husky. Well, that, that might be it. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid, and I also think I was... It was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. I guess I told everyone about it. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No, I'm not okay. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So, we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here, like, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have, like, a ghost section? Uh, what? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library for books about it? No, they have the local paper and file. Going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow. I didn't know that they had that. I thought it was just, like... Broken on old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of those nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dudes who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh... Sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties! That's the spirit. Ha, the spirit, get it? Ah, that's, that's a good one. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This murals are really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Dead? Ah, I guess I drew that because I was. it was so awful. Yeah, it's another fancy mural. Hello, librarian lady. Let's talk. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. 
Any idea where the microfish are is? Microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. So, so talky. So talkative. Oh, they have an elevator? Isn't that fancy? A library with an elevator. I guess that's not too fancy thinking about it, but for a small town like this, three floor library, still pretty impressive. Alright, one computer is on, let's use it. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ, born 1966, 50 years old. Let's see. Experience mining, construction, weld rolling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist Cheddarbox group? I guess I guess I guess not. So be it. Oh. Cute bear. Holy crap. What? It's charity berity. What's charity berity? How do you not know what charity berry is? I assume this is something from school. School of being five freaking years old. Alright. So this was a thing you liked as a kid? No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were under some curse. Where a cute thing followed you around 24-7, yelling about like, sharing and not littering and paying taxes. Well, that's an important uh, skill. I was five. I'm 29 and I still haven't paid taxes. Charity Barity goes to a state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Uh, I forgot the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Barity. Oh no. Austerity. <laughs> What's that? Reason the two bridges in and out of the Saltstown are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't like go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. I, I don't know if I want to try that though. Oh, okay. So we have to go back to the computer, I guess, and you know, do that. I guess we're going to use one of the off. No, can't, can't, why, I want to use the mi microfiche, microfiche, why, why can't I not do that? Jeez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, Danger Everywhereity. That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just kept updating that one book. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm, I'm just noticing that the books there move, like, parallaxing, that, that, that's kind of nice. Okay, I can't use the computer, so are we going up? Oh, this is this is floor two, I guess. My bad, I thought this was already floor three. My bad. <laughs> oh wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it, or something while carrying something. All right, well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy because he took someone and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been through and that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. All right, let's go to the microfiche. Creepy old computer. I actually have never used a microfiche computer. Um, or look to that. All right, there she is. Cool. Let's check it out. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, nope, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea was to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, uh, we friends, Puitis. Here, let me let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. <laughs> all right. So, what are we looking for? I want to steer. No, move. I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. How do you do this? <sighs> Step one. Look at the screen. Step two. Move around and look at stuff. Step three. Find ghost. Sure. All right, tragedy at Stafford Mine. Explosion occurred in Stafford Mine. All work has attempted to rescue survivors. No. Mm, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Events! 
Last trolley will make its run September 4th. Bainy Gross. Nope. Twin Club will be meeting on stacks. Spectral happening at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past night as they hiked along the woods, overly known as Possum Jump. According to Lovebirds, at approximately 11.45, a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into open air and then disappeared. Forest workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what they too saw. A mystery, a decent hike up in the state. First Hills Possum Jump is a famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. Alright. That one looks like something. Hey, look at this. Mm, yeah, looks like Possum Spring? Possum Jump? Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's that's back on the state park, right? Yep. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. That's actually probably a, only a mile or two so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. We'll try to avoid any basements. Or a corpse husbands. Consigned. Co-signed. Sound off opinion line... Deep Hollow County mourns. Final group of bodies from the 1888 have been discovered. Two days shy of the one year of adversity of the tragedy. Um, 1888 explosion have been recovered. Two days shy of the one year anniversary of the tragedy. What? That's really old stuff then. Strange but not true. A tale of teeth. Nope. Or maybe. Oh wow, this is gnarly and awesome. Oh my god. Alright, more. Let's see how we can find more. Ghostly rumors haunt new historic, uh, historical society. The Possum Springs Historical Society conversion of the Shrygeist House into its new headquarters in Grand Education Center has a hit a snag. Custodial head Jet Newsom had resigned, or has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after I was doing my work and I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. I came out to see who was fooling, but there was nobody there, said Newsom. Trying to get this map room operation for all the children, all the while I'm looking over my shoulder, I should expect him to see guys know what. God knows what. Mr. Newsom had previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go off the off limits area anymore. I don't go out past the second floor and then only to the office. I know the others laugh, say I see little I'm seeing little Joe or something, but they can all go spit. Little Joe for the uninitiated was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on Mr. Newsom's claims at this time. That's one. Hey, 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 go spot it. Historical Society. Yep, never been there. You don't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yep, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house? Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have like summer arts and craft programs. Oh well, still worth checking out. Okay, let's see, maybe there's a third one. Strike lumbers on. Underground gases afflict many. Another sighting from the albino groundhog from a very reliable source. Progress Springs and Possum Springs. Oh, that's the end of it. Local ghost little Joe at it again. As the school children are quick to inform me, Possum Springs had at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, purportedly the ghost of Lil Joe Shade, a miner who died in a mysterious circumstances, some decades ago is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around, unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. His grave has become a destination for unruly and often destructive local use and as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstones that fill the small Small hollow where Joe Shade lies buried. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area, so be warned, thrill seekers. You may not see a ghost, but you may see a fine for trespassing. Oh, look! Scooch, so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghost are history. History that won't say history. Ha, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Y yeah, that's it. Three clues. We got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. All right, all right, let's go. All right, let's see where this leads us. So we got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. 
You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all of these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear of that history repeats? It does. It does end the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves. Yep, that's science. Oh, my freaking God. <laughs> Someone is so done with her shit. Wait, are we going up further? Oh, my bad. We're going down. I, I thought we were at the most, um, the, the highest level. All right. Well, let's, let's leave the library. I'm good for all the night. Oh. What's happening here? Guys, what are you arguing about? <clears throat> what is... Shh. Is that Miss Qualsey? Oh, wow. I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow, I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Should be saving that string to repair those bridges into Saltstown. There you go. Thank you all for coming for the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yeah, fuck yeah. Tonight we have a new poems for myself, for myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma and Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. They don't actually pay her in string, right? <laughs> yes, May, they literally pay her in string. I was just joking. Right. <clears throat> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my stories, I tell friends back home, when they ask about life out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Fuck you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that? She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Okay, no, full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two, two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibie? That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. He was really worried about what fish think. That tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a poem by Selma and Forrester. Selmers. Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. Ha <laughs> ha. This is called, There's No Reception in Possum Springs. Haha, <laughs> she's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone. In the air like a flare, like a prayer. But no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold, made more money in one day than my app family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians waiting for us to die, lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app, replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours, force 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck on my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement, there in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their silicon city to the ground. Holy shit. Yeah, that was... That was that, that was intense. Wow, damn. Yeah, she rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Somers. What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it hers? Nice work, Smelmer. I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? Yes, that was fun. I like that I got an achievement for this for listening to the poems. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so. Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, Bea. There were some newspaper clippings about that talked about a ghost. 
Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, fill it with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So, it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. Oh, it's a deep voice. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up? Share custody of you and your ghost? Well, places where you're thinking about. Ah, uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Hmm. Serious, the historical society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Well, where's the fun in that? Anyway, I'm in for the historical society. Awesome. So, what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. Hmm? I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in the scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome! And also, I'm scared to death. Well, that's a good start. And we're back home. Hey, Dad! Ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. Ugh. Yippers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yep. I thought you were getting along. Uh, I mean, we are. We're getting Just a bump. You two always two alike. I guess. I got to chill in her smartestness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. Mom awake? Nope. Mom is asleep. Exactly. <laughs> Greg and I have to work. Good one. Alright, up we go. And we're gonna go into Dreamland in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.